Alrighty! Welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and we're playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm uh, nervous, excited, sad, bittersweet, all of that because this is very likely the last episode of this series. It should be episode 103 if my uh, maths is correct or my counting, I mean. Um, so, what are we doing in this one? Let's just have a look at our progress. A couple of things we want to go through. Okay, we have got total completion we need to look at. We want to get the 100% for the game, obviously. That's what we've been working towards for a very long time now. All we have left to do for the dinosaur bones is we have to go and visit that lady, Deborah McGuinness. So we're going to do that on our travels. Uh, and what we also need to do is visit the trapper and buy all the upgraded gear that will help us reach maximum health, stamina, and dead eye. And then I believe we will have the 100%. We'll have all the ticks. So we just need the tick there and the tick for the dinosaur bones. And then we're done for that. What we're about to do though, if we look at achievements, is we're going to get the Grin and Bear It achievement. Now, I've covered quite a few of these Grizzly Bear attacks on the walkthrough. Uh, I've done a few off-camera as well in practice runs and that sort of thing. And we are now at 94%. And I do believe if we do one more, we're going to get the achievement for it. So I'm going to cover that in this video. Uh, and the other thing we need to cover are the... So we've covered how we're going to grab that achievement, then we're going to grab Grin and Bear It, and then we're going to grab Skin Deep and Zoologist. And the way I'm going to do that in this video, similar to how we did fish species and plant um, locations and stuff like that, is I'm going to put up a list of animals that we're missing on screen right now. Okay, so you can pause the video there if you needed to see the animals that we're missing. I'm going to cover each and every one of those animals. I'm going to show you the location on the map and where we hunt them. And for some of them, we need to skin them and study them, or probably in the other order, study them and skin them. Some of them I only need to skin and some of them I only need to study. But we're going to cover all of that in this video. All right, let's do it. To start off with, we need to... Go and find a grizzly bear. So let's have a look at where we actually are. We're right near the location where we will scout around looking for a grizzly to attack us. So let's uh, let's uh, leave camp and tear down camp as well. We'll need to do. Give me the prompt. Come on, game. Who's a good game? Alrighty, so. First things first, we need a gun. Actually, let's have something to eat first. Make sure John's nice and fed. Prime beef, yes please. And now, gun. I like my shotgun, my semi-auto shotgun for this. Seems to do the trick quite nicely. It's in good condition. We've got 80 shells for it. All right. And let's start off on horseback. Wonder if this weather, there's one of the bears we did earlier. Um, wonder if this weather will affect the bear's spawn. We'll go and have a look. Um, and then if this takes too long, I'll cut the video ahead to where we find the bear. Oh, I feel like I can hear one. I can hear one. Where is it? I'm hopping off. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Come here, bear. Attack me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh ah! All right, smash the B button. Oh, this is not a good view of it, but anyway. An achievement's an achievement if we can get it. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Can we shoot him? There we go. Hey! Oh, what a noise. 0.05% of people have that achievement. Oh, boy. We did it, guys. Where's my hat? There's my hat. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so that covers the Grin and Barrett achievement. Let's not let that all go to... Oh, hang on. Call our horse and see if we can... 
Do that. Beautiful. Didn't have to waste time with the animation. Okay. Alright, so, opening up the map. Now that that's taken care of, we're actually going to head towards this trapper right here. Uh, and work on a couple of things there in terms of uh, getting our upgraded gear. And from there, we're going to start doing some hunting and we'll eventually work our way towards Deborah McGuinness. But I'm going to um, cut in all the hunting and things like that, hopefully in some sort of order, um, you know, that's closest to the last one, basically, if that makes sense. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll start heading towards this trapper, but I'll cut the video and I'll meet you guys at the trapper. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here we are approaching the trapper out in the west. All right, let's go see him. Make sure I put my gun away. What am I doing? Okay. Welcome back, sir. So, buy it or sell it. Oh, we're buying. All made to measure. Oh, I'm sure it is. Okay, reinforced equipment. And just buy up anything we don't already have. Yeah, that can be reinforced, no trouble. Alright. Okay. That's the whole set, huh? Nice. Yep, the whole set. <laughs> His comments are funny. Alright. Check it out. Have we already got all those? Yep. Herbalist. Survivalist. That's it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Permanently. Yeah, okay. Let's just have a look at a couple of things. First of all, in progress and see if it... See if we got that tick yet. I haven't been able to practice this. Uh, where is it? Yep, we did. We've got it. Alright, so we've got maximum health, stamina and dead eye for the first time. That's awesome. Alright, so once we visit the... Hang on, what did it say in terms of percentage? Do we... 99% now. All right, and all we have to do is the dinosaur bones completion, and we'll have our 100%. If you've been following along, it's a big uh, moment, I guess. Okay, I don't need any of that. Uh, all right, now, Let's go. the plan for now is to do some hunting, and what I'll do is I'll cut the video here, and I'll cut in all the different hunting locations, and I'll also cut in when we visit uh, Deborah McGuinness about the dinosaur bones. We'll just sort of... Try and do things in some sort of um, order, as I mentioned earlier. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, here we are. We are heading up towards Lake Isabella uh, because I was actually looking for the Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep. But on the way, I've actually come across, where is it here? The Sierra Nevada Bighorn Ram, I believe. And according to my list, I haven't studied them or skinned them. Let's just uh, have a look here. Now, it's not letting me study it, so that tells me I already have. All right, so get our gun back out. Are they both ram? Yeah, I need a sheep as well. All right, let's just take care of one of them. There we go. Has he got any buddies, any sheep, or just that ram? Anyway, let's have a look, let's skin him, and uh, then we'll check our compendium. Yeah, updated, okay. So, killed one, skinned one. 
We'd already studied one though. Okay, cool. All right, that's that covered. I'll just show you exactly where we are on the map. Game won't let me back out automatically. All right, we're just in the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies West, just south of Lake Isabella up in Amberino. All right, I'll meet you guys at the next one. All right, what about now? Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep, that's exactly what I need. Which one was it? Ah, hang on. All right, game, all right, come on. This one, all right, good. Where to go, where to go? Uh oh, they're gonna get away at this rate. All right. Oh, we'll take both of these because I don't know which one it was. Did I get two kills? Yes, I did. What are they? Bull elk we do not need. Okay. Show you where we are, guys. And I'll double check my list here. I said I needed to study them, but uh, they, that wouldn't let me study it. So, anyway, here we are. Up in... The Rocky Mountains of Amberino in the west, just uh, to the north of Lake Isabella. What's this uh, corpse there? I don't know what that is all about. But anyway, all right, I'll uh, skin this, but that's it. That's one of the animals we needed, and I'll meet you guys at the next one. Okay. Oh, I got it. Now i got to go find the body. Where's my horse? Okay, guys, we just shot what is hopefully a Eurasian tree sparrow. I'll show you where we are. All right, hopefully that's the body just there in the middle island. Oh, I've got a uh, little hidden side quest there that I haven't done. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Let's use the horse to cross over here. I oh, probably could have done it on foot actually, but anyway. Now, we had studied a Eurasian tree sparrow, but I'd never collected one. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. There it is. All right, pick that up. All right, compendium update, and I'll just show you again where we were, or are. Just to the west of Valentine in the river here, the Dakota River, on this tiny little island. All right, let's go. Oh, here we go, here we go. I need this. Oh, hang on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just load up on it. There we go. All right, we've got it. <laughs> Look at the overkill I did, but I needed to make sure it did not get away. Oh, and hopefully it's not in the water either. Okay, let me see. It's a hooded oriole. That's what we've been looking for here. And we can pick it up. And that should update the compendium for us. Now what you do, same with the uh, other bird, I forget... The, uh, the sparrow that we found here uh, is you just look around on the rocks and in the air for any birds flying. They're usually sitting on rocks uh, in this area. Let's see if I can see it any, any more. They're probably all scared off from the gunshots, but they're sitting on these rocks. I'll show you on the map where we are. And usually if you ride your horse past the area, they all set off in the air anyway. And you'd look up and shoot them out of the sky as we did there. We're in the same spot, just... Uh, west of valentine all right let's go all right guys here we are just under where it says cumberland forest i'll just take that off the map we are going to see deborah mcginnis about the dinosaur bones and see what this does and see if this is the end of the line for that particular quest and therefore we should be at 100 percent completion for the game let's see i'm quite uh oh oh yeah yeah, yeah. All right, I might just uh, hop off the horse, go see her. Quite interested to find out what happens here. What do we do? Just approach this door, hopefully. It's not letting me go any closer. Who are you? Who am I? He passed a few years back, unfortunately. Oh, 
Uh, sorry to hear that. I've been sending you the bones since then. Oh, I wondered why there was such a hiatus. Well, come in, come in. I can't wait hey. to show you the fruits of your labor. You'll be quite amazed. All right, let's do it. Right, of course. Quite right. Uh, of course you were. <laughs> Can we go in? Nope. Let me in. It's not letting me move. Oh, there we go. Lovely to see you. Oh, I saw one. Here. Just as I thought. Ah, uh, it's n it's an abomination. West Elizabethus. Ah ha ha ha. Elizabethan megasaur. That's a, quite a monster. Oh, 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 it'll change everything. It's incredible. Take yeah. Fins for swimming. Yeah, right. Three pairs of legs so we could run extra fast, even in mud. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tusks. She's crazy. Tusky type things. And long spines that acted as wings. Yeah, no. I was a fool. A silly old woman. Whatever oh, gave them that idea. I was right all along. Oh, this is the happiest day since... Well, since my sister died, but that's another story. Thank you. I will, of course, share the credit. Oh, please don't. That's okay. <laughs> Keep a low profile. Really? Yeah. I must give you something. Something valuable. Okay, I can take something valuable. Here, take this. The handle is genuine stegosaurus bone. Oh, I'm sure it is. Thank you. All the best. More importantly, what's the blade? All right, game. There we go. Hey, let me get rid of this off screen. Best in the West. We have attained 100% completion. Yeah, we have. Oh boy. Wow, guys, that is so cool. Guess we're just about done, my friend. Ah. Not quite, John, not quite. All right, sorry, guys, I had to cut that there. Uh, the song that played was going to have some copyright issues for us. But, uh, yeah, so we've done all 100% of the game, but we still have all of those animals, as we know, to collect the zoologist and skin deep achievements. So let's keep working on those. Okay. Here we are in the far north of New Hanover. What is it? Just at the corner of this border where Amberino is. And what's the best way to explain it? Well, it's at this place called, what is it? Harmony Dell or something? Darmony? I don't know. Anyway, you can see where I am there, directly north of the H in the word Hanover, and it's at this farm here. Use my binoculars, find a bull in the paddock here, and study it up. There we go, a Hereford bull. Sometimes you'll come here and that exact same bull will be an Angus bull or something different. If that happens, you just save the game and load it directly up and it'll put spit you out somewhere out here and you'll uh, spot the bull again. This guy is going to shoot at me. Oh, Carmody Dell. There we go. Here. Uh, fill me in. Yeah, see, he wants to shoot me now. This happened before when I was trying to do this. Anyway, at least we got what we came for. I'll see you guys at the next one. All right, we've got a dog here that I haven't studied. Let's see what sort of dog it is. Come on, game. Oh, get out of the way, crow. Let's see if we can... There we go. Labrador Retrieve... Labrador Retriever. That should update the compendium. Let's just take a quick look. There we go, 100%. We don't have to kill it or skin it or anything like that. Just study it. Okay, and I'll just show you on the map where we are. 
These can be found at lots of different farms around the map, but I'll show you where we found this particular one. What's it called? Something, something farm here in New Hanover, just to the west of Emerald Ranch. Okay guys, here we are at Emerald Ranch. And what we've done is we've found a rooster that we haven't studied and I'm hoping it's the Java rooster. I'm not sure if that's how to pronounce it. It's spelt with a J. Um, all right, let's have a look. So south, uh, southwest corner of Emerald Ranch in the same pen that we used for one of the challenges to get a heap of small game kills. Got this rooster right here. Let's study it. White leghorn rooster. Okay, that's actually... I think one that we still need it. Yeah, compendium updated. 100% studied, yes. Okay, so that's good. And what you can actually do if you need a different type of rooster is quit out to the main menu and load it back up and sometimes you'll find a different type of rooster here. There's usually only one rooster, so you may, may need to do that once or twice um, to get some different roosters in here. Okay guys, here I am in exactly the same position and I did exactly what I said with the last rooster and I, all I did is save the game, quit out to the main menu and then press continue and came back to the exact same location and we've got another rooster here. So let's study it. It's a different type this time and it is the Java rooster. That's the one I was looking for originally uh, but that's the method to get that guy to spawn and the compendium will be updated there it is, 100%. So we got that one just a minute ago, and which one is it this time? This one. All right, so we've got two roosters here on this page. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. All right, so we've come across a southern copperhead snake. I do need one of these for the compendium. Should have been one of the... Uh, Snakes on our list. Let's, uh, not sure if we'd already skinned it or not, but we did need to study it, which we've done now. Let's see if skinning it updates the compendium as well. No, it didn't, but we've studied a southern copperhead snake, and I'll show you on the map where we are. In New Hanover, what are we, southwest of Elysian Pool? And west of Van Horn. Lots of places where you're going to actually find those, but that's where we've got this one. Um, and it, I find it really, really handy to just ride around with your horse and it freaks out your horse and you'll see a little red dot show up on your mini map as well. Uh, that's the best way to find snakes in my opinion. All right. See you at the next one. Okay guys, here we are outside Elysian Pool or outside the cave entrance. Uh, you can see already the picture there of the little bat there. We need to study a little brown bat. We did collect a brown bat for one of the, um, what are they called? The art exhibition animal requests that we did a long while ago, but we never studied one. So that was a bit of a oversight by me, but we're gonna head inside here and study one of the brown bats, hopefully. That's the plan. Let's head inside the cave. We, make sure you bring your lantern with you, as you can see I've got there. And we head behind the waterfall. Now there's a dead brown bat there, but that's not good enough for us. And I'm gonna make sure we've got our binoculars as well but it's probably going to be a bit dark in here okay you can see all the rats hang on get the lantern back out
I can hear the rats now. Uh, sorry, not the rats. The bats. Rats, bats. All right, work your way into this part of the cave. And when one gets close enough, we should be able to study it. We may have to get out our binoculars for this. Let's do that. All right. It's all going to be about finding one, not moving too quick, really. Ah, come on. Let me, let me see. Need them to stop or slow down. They're all a bit startled at the moment. There we go. There we go. I think we did it. Okay. Studied a little brown bat. Compendium updated. We've collected a few. We've never actually had to kill one because we did that trick um, that I covered in the art exhibition quests a while ago. All right, there we go. May as well kill one though, just to get 100%. And I don't think it's really gonna count for anything, but we'll do it anyway. There we go. Where'd the body go? Hey, Bubba. Where is it? Where are you, bat? Little brown bat. Pick that up. And I'll meet you guys at the next one. All right, guys. At around 5 a.m., you need to be here, uh, or just before 6 a.m. And what we're going to do is head to this spot here on the map, and I'll show you what to do when we get there. And we're looking for the Western Bull Moose. Equip a gun with a, with a scope on it. A long-range rifle of some sort. Oh, what was that? A black bear? No, we don't need to worry about that. Okay. You'll be right. You'll be right. Okay, and head over. Okay, I put the uh, marker in. Not quite the right spot, but head to this location here, right above the waterfall. Have a look down. Get out of the way, horse. To this cliff right here. You can see there's nothing there right now. And if there isn't anything there, turn around. Take your time, just sort of having a look around up here and look back. Still nothing, but it's not quite 6 a.m. yet. At around 6 a.m., sometimes the Western Bull Moose will spawn right there, magically. Let's have another look. Not there yet. Try again. Give it a few seconds. Let's see if it'll tick over to six. Just about. Let's have another look. Still not there. Is it? Oh, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, horse? Seriously, get your head out of the way. Hang on. Bit of uh, mist coming off the waterfall. Let's just uh, turn around again. What about now? I think it's there. There we go. All right, now we are going to need to study it. Uh, you might need your binoculars for this. Here we go. Zoom in and study. There we go. Western Bull Moose. Now, you have to be quick here. We're going to shoot it, but then we're going to have to hurry up and get to its body before it decomposes somehow quite quickly. This is difficult with the uh, mist. It's not always this misty. All right, let's get a headshot. There we go. Now, quickly head this way. And hopefully... Oh boy, don't do that. <laughs> okay, that's going to slow us down a little bit. Come here, horse. Hopefully we can still get there in time. I've done a couple of takes at this because... Um, oh boy, 
I'm probably going to have to do another take. If not, this is going to be funny for the video. Oh my god. I was just going to say that I've d had to do a couple of takes because I spent too much time explaining the whole thing after I've shot it. And by the time I get there, it's decomposed. Oh, you'll be right, horse. Stop whinging. Alright. I hope it is still alright and I get to keep this in the video. <laughs> and then I'll have to uh, heal my horse a bit too. But no time for that right now. Let's get up here. And there it is. It's looking good. I think it's going to be okay. So we'll keep that in the video. Quick, quick, quick. Get over there. Alright, let's skin it. Perfect kill too. Alright, there we go. Compendium updated. Let's have another look. Beautiful. Killed and skinned. Yes, yes. And studied, sorry. Alright, let's back out of here. And I'll just again show you what we did on the map and where we did it. Alright. No, that it was more sort of closer to where it says Brandywine Drop. We're in the far northeast of the map. Far north of Annisburg and Van Horn. Rayanoke Valley. I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly, but anyway. That's where you want to start. Start And look down on this cliff from up there. And hopefully get it to spawn. Study it and shoot it. And race over here and skin it. Alright guys, I hope that helped. That one was a really tough one to find. But uh, yeah, this spot seemed quite reliable. Uh, I think I've done it four times in a row just by loading the save. And it's there every time for me. Um, but I do know there have been occasions when it doesn't spawn at that particular time. If that happens to you, just load up another save and try again. Oh, here we go. Where? Alright, we've got a bird here on the beach. I'll show you on the map after we study it. It is a band-tailed pigeon. And I also need to make sure... Oh, I didn't bring a gun. Whoops. It's a bit of a mistake. It's flying away. Hang on. There we go. We got it. Oh, don't go too deep. Alright, let's get around there. Come on, come on. Here it is. Yeah, we got a band-tailed pigeon. All right. I last time I found it, it was over the other side of this um, little jetty. Yeah, oops, wrong button. I just I was trying to open the map, guys. Give me a sec. All right, so this is where we are here in Annisburg, far northeast of the map for those that don't already know. And I sort of just go out on these uh, piers or jetties or whatever you want to call them. And along the uh, these little beaches or coastline here, you, you should be able to find both types of pigeon. But for this particular video, we needed the band tailed pigeon and we've done it. Alrighty, here we go, guys. We're here with what looks to be a small alligator. This little thing right here, we're gonna take care of it. Now I had already studied one. Let's just check these birds. Nope, and nope, and nope. <laughs> all right, I am also looking for a whooping crane, that's all. You can see there that it is a small alligator. I had already studied one before, so I didn't study it there, but obviously if you need to study it, you can do that. I do need to skin one though, so let's quickly do that. Just comes up as American alligator there, but once you skin it, you'll see it'll call it a small alligator. And he skins it differently too. There we go, compendium updated. Only one skilled now you can see, and we have studied it. So there we go. And once again, 
There we are. We are north of Saint Denis and south of Van Horn on the coast here. Uh, other spots uh, that you can look for them are down here and obviously around the swamp as well. Uh, I actually found it while I'm looking for a whooping, whooping crane, I think it's called. That's what I'm looking for around here as well. All right, let's go. Here we go. Whooping crane. I had already studied it. That's why I couldn't, didn't have the option just then. But I've never plucked one, so let's do that. And while we're doing that, I'll show you where we are. Depending on where I cut this into the video, that's where we took care of the little or the small alligator. And here we are with a whooping crane. Uh, where are we? We are north of Saint Denis and south of Van Horn. So hopefully you can find one in this area all the way along this coast. I would look if you're uh, having trouble all the way along the coast north of Saint Denis. Alrighty guys, here we are. Uh, we are just north of Saint Denis. There's a little farm here. It doesn't seem to really have a name, but you'll find some bulls uh, all fenced up in here. And if you have a look with your binoculars, if you need to uh, find some of these, we can study this guy here. And we have a Devon bull. That'll update the compendium. Don't need to kill it or skin it or anything like that. Just study it and that'll work our way towards our zoology achievement. Okay, here we are just to the north of Saint Denis. You'll find a whole heap of farms around this area. Uh, in this particular paddock here, or fenced off area here, we have a whole heap of pigs. Um, there's only one breed of pig that we're actually missing and that is the big China pig, but there's a few different breeds of pig here. Let's have a quick look. And there's Old Spot Pig. I think I saw a Berkshire Pig or something. Anyway, this one here we apparently haven't studied, so let's study it. Big China Pig. We've got it now. I'll just make sure there was... Yeah, look at that Berkshire Pig over there. Florida Cows in here as well. All right, so what's that? Four different types or three or four different types of pig in there. And that's that. All right. In the northeast corner of Saint Denis, there's a whole heap of, like this block here is full of just old rundown houses and degenerates and poverty, that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna grab, jump off the horse to hopefully make this easier. This dog here, not that one on the left, this one, we need to study it. No, 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 come here. There we go, mutt. All right, compendium updated. Okay, so that's one of the ones we were missing. And it's all done now. I'll meet you guys at the next one. Okay, we find ourselves southwest of Saint Denis on the coastline here. Just zoom in and out so you can see where we are. And we need to grab out some binoculars. I need to study one of these birds here. Oh, I thought it was about to fly off. A neotropic cormorant, or however you want to pronounce it. Okay, so it's studied, and... Oh! I don't know what happened then, but now it's dead. Hopefully it's not too deep, and I can grab it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, it's going to be deep, isn't it? Someone's shooting at me too. Hang on. What are you shooting at me for? All right, I need this. Can I get it? Come on, don't be too deep. Pluck. Yeah, that's right. All right, compendium updated. Yet another one down. Let's keep going. Oh, there's a snake. Kind of snake are ya? I can't tell. A northern water snake, is it? Yes, alright, this is what we need. Okay, I don't need to study it. I've already studied it before sometime. Alright. Please don't be too deep. You're not too deep, are ya? Hey, hey, hey. I saw it come up on screen. Come on. There we go. 
Northern Water Snake. While we're doing that, I'll show you where we are. Once again, we are southwest of Saint Denis along the shoreline here. And found it just in this little bit of water just here. Northern Water Snake. There's another snake. Let's see. All right, come on, come on, come on. No, this. Cottonmouth water snake, yes. All right, we've already studied it. I need to kill it. Ah, get the right uh, weapon, get the weapon. I need to skin it though. I can't do it if it's that deep. All right, let's just keep an eye on it. Here, come here, snake. All right, I'm gonna have to try it. Hopefully that's not too deep. As soon as I can. Yep, yeah, uh, pick up, pick up. Yes, we got it. Oh, that was, that took a while to find the uh, Cottonmouth Water Snake. Let's uh, show you where we are. Oh, wrong button. Once again, we are southeast of Saint Denis. We are really, really close to Shady Bell and the legendary Panther. So on this little island here, and it was in this bit of water. It's definitely, you're definitely going to find it in water. It is a water snake, the cottonmouth snake. All right, I'll uh, meet you guys at the next one. Just uh, finish off skinning it. Oh, that's a big snake too. Uh-oh. I just heard it. Use some cover scent. John, use some cover scent. Oh, okay. I can hear him. All right. Where is he? Oh boy. Make sure I've got poison knives ready. This way, I reckon. There he is. All right, study. We've studied him. Okay, now we don't need poison knives. That was just my backup plan in case he charged me. Let's take him out. Is he dead? There he is. And that, my friends, is the Florida Panther. Let me go over a bit of a method that we used. Um, we'll see how I go editing it all into the video. Uh, actually, I better skin it to make sure <laughs> we get that on the compendium. Show you where we are on the map. Oh, they've even put the little picture there now. Okay, so what you want to do, maybe start at this road here. I'll just show you where we are. We are southeast of Braithwaite Manor, which is uh, southwest of Saint Denis, and south of Rhodes, obviously, all the way down here. Now, what you want to do is... Well, actually, I didn't actually use Potent Predator Bait. He does spawn in this area um, at different times, but because I needed to, I needed to study him. What we did is we were creeping around and we used some. Um, as soon as I heard him, I used some cover scent and tried to sneak up on him successfully on this occasion. If he sees you first, you've got no hope. Um, but I did have equipped some poison throwing knives. If he charges at you, go into dead eye and throw one of the knives at his feet. It will stop him from attacking you, his feet or his legs, so that you don't kill him. Then what he'll do, he'll run away and, and start to die and you need to follow him and study him, then kill him and skin him. But there we go. We snuck, got the, uh, we got the upper hand on him. We snuck up on him. We've studied him and we've skinned him. And now we can move on to the next animal. Okay, now there's a house out here. I'm gonna show you where we are. We're just in the outskirts of Rhodes, off to the east of Rhodes. Uh, Gavin's friend is running around hassling us, trying to find him. You should all know who that is. But well, the reason we're here is there's always a poodle here. I'm a long way from it, but I just wanted to make sure we study it before it moves on. Compendium updated, another animal to cross off our list. But yeah, it's always around here. Obviously, if you came here and it wasn't here, uh, you would just uh, probably either go away, camp and sleep, or 
or load a save up and come back. Okay, here we are in Bard's Crossing. We're just north of Blackwater, south of Valentine, as you can see. Okay, and just in the water here, I've got a ring build gull, I think it's called. Let me double check. Where did I put it? There it is. Yes, ring build gull. I've studied one previously, but we've never plucked one. And I'm going to have to shoot it real quick here and run out to it and see if we can pick it up without drowning. All right, before it gets too deep, yeah, perfect. Pick it up. Head back to land. All right, and I can pluck it now. And that's it. Updated our compendium here. And I will see you guys at the next one. Okay, guys, here we are north of Bard's Crossing, uh, which we've seen before. It's north of Blackwater. And I've found a yellow build loon here in the water. I need to quickly get my gun out and take care of it before it flies off. We've studied one before, but I've never plucked one. There we go. Let's uh, see if it's not too deep for us. And as long as it's not, we can grab it. We'll pick it up. There we go, yellow build loon. And we'll pluck it or skin it. And that's it, guys. Okay, now we're still here on the Dakota River, north of Bard's Crossing. Just uh, zoom out so you can have a bit of a look at where we are. I just uh, reloaded a save and it put me straight back uh, in front of a Pacific loon this time. We need to study it real quick, real quick, and we need to shoot it. My only concern is, is it too deep there? Oh boy. Well, now we're going to have to shoot it. And we're going to have to get on my horse. Whoops. Come on, horse. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's floating towards this island. So if I get on my horse and get to that island, here we go, here we go, here we go, we're going to get it, look at that, so this is Pacific Loon if I didn't mention it already, let's just pick it up to be safe, and then we can pluck it, I'll just show you again where we are, here in Dakota River. So we've got from this, we've got the yellow build loon and the Pacific loon. If I reload a save, there's a good chance we'll find a common loon as well. That's another one on our list. So let's have a go. Okay, guys, here we go. We've got a common loon and a yellow build loon. I wanted to show you this location. I'll show you where we are. Here on Lake Owangila. Or I think that's what it's called anyway, and how to say it. Uh, now, I know we got the other loons, or two of the loons, down uh, near Bard's Crossing on Dakota River, uh, but that was actually an accident. I know all three loons are commonly found at Lake Owangila, so the only one we had remaining was the common loon. I think I've already studied it, but I haven't plucked one. Let's uh, quickly get a gun out and take care of it before it flies away on me. Where'd it go? There it is. There we go. All right. Hopefully it's not too deep. All right, yeah, but I wanted to show you guys that this is a place that you can find all three types of loons. Um, since I accidentally found the other ones. Since I accidentally found the other ones, so here we go. Pick it up just in case it's going to float away on me. And we can skin it and that's it for this one. I'll see you guys at the next one. Okay, in this area here, just north of Aurora Basin, which is out to the west of Blackwater, to the far west, here we can find Sierra Nevada Bighorn Ram and Bighorn Sheep. I know we covered a Bighorn Ram somewhere else over in, I think... I think by memory it was over here somewhere, but anyway, 
Um, this is the main spot where I would look for them if I really needed them, uh, around here somewhere. And if you have a look, we've come across both right here. Now, I've covered the ram, but I have never killed or skinned the sheep version. So let's uh, get out a gun. Let's see if we can uh, creep up a little bit closer and take out the sheep, not the ram. Here we go. There we go. All right, the rest of you can run off. Okay, but there was a whole herd of them here, so you should find what you're after. Let's uh, skin it, and I'll meet you guys at the next one. There. What are you? All right, come closer. You're coming closer, or are you going away? Going away, I think. Oh, there it is. Okay, I need to study it. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come here. Come on, game. There we go. Studied a pileated woodpecker. And obviously, I don't need to shoot it, or I don't need to collect it, but I'm going to. Alright. There we go. I'll show you where we are on the map after I find the body. If I find the body, if it hasn't drowned on me. Uh, it's in the water. Just here somewhere. Here it is. Right, let's just pick it up quickly. I don't know how to say it. Pileated woodpecker. What's that? <laughs> he says, "What's that?" All right, where are we? We are at Aurora Basin, just south of uh, where I found the Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep. I think the name was. All right, but what I did is I actually just went to Aurora Basin and I just do laps looking up in the sky for the birds that are flying around. You'll see all different sorts, but if you uh, can't find the pileated woodpecker, just save your game and load the save. Probably another important point is the time of day. Anywhere where it's, uh, the, you know, sort of daytime and it's sunny, if it's raining, you'll need to sleep or save and load. But there we go, that's the Pileated Woodpecker, and apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Alright guys, for this one you want to head to Manzanita Post. It's where we met the uh, guy that uh, gives you the tools for one of the early missions with John Marston. Alright, uh, so that's where we are, and we are here to spot ourselves a Siberian Husky. All right, here it is. Study. There we go, Siberian Husky. Actually, I probably needed to just show on the map. Ah, uh, that's not how you do it. I'll just show you exactly where it is. I don't know if I zoomed out enough, so let's just uh, open up the map again. We are west of Blackwater and just a little bit southwest of Beaches Hope. All right, so that's where we are for the Siberian Husky. Okay, now here we are at Beaches Hope, and if you haven't already done this, we need to, actually let me just uh, properly show on the map, west of Blackwater, for those that don't know, Beaches Hope, which is John Marston's home with his little family, we actually need to study Rufus, Jack's pet. So if you haven't done that, make sure you study him, that's another one ticked off our list. Compendium updated. All right, we've got an out. We just need to study it. Come on, come on game, let me study. There we go. Great horned owl, studied. I've shown plenty of times in the walkthrough us killing them for their feathers. The great horned owl is usually found over at Emerald Ranch. Uh, but in this occasion, we have found it here in Bear Claw. Now I'm actually here looking for the other two uh, species of owl and hopefully I'll be showing those next up in the video.
Yeah, here we go. All right, we're gonna study this owl here on this rooftop. Coastal horned owl. And we also need to shoot it. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna go get it. And you can get on that roof, that's why I didn't mind shooting it. By climbing up here. And a minute ago, the great horned owl was up here as well, but we've already covered that. But if you're looking for that one, you can find it here as well. Let me just quickly pluck it. And while we're doing that, I'll show you on the map where we are. It's called Bear Claw, here south of Manzanita Post, southwest of Blackwater. That's where we are. And on this building here in the top right hand corner. He seems to spawn there at around 9 p.m. So look out for that. Okay, so here we are in the south of New Austin. And I'm looking for a Sonoran pronghorn doe. We've already done the buck in a much, much earlier video uh, when we were first down here in New Austin. I've come across one right now, I'm pretty sure. Let's just uh, get the binoculars out first. I think I just spooked it, did I? All right, there's one. Study it. Let me see it. Where'd it go, where'd it go? All right, I'm gonna have to go after it a bit more. Is that it? No, that's not it. That might be it there though. All right, let's just sit up here. We should be able to see them good. All right. Which one? Hey, let me study you. Oh God, they're moving too fast. Hang on, we'll go catch up. Hopefully without spooking them this time. Or maybe it's the bad weather that spooked them. Here we go, here we go. Which one are you? This one. No, this one, this one. Sonoran pronghorn doe, all right. We've studied it, now we need to hunt it and skin it. No, not that one. This one. Make sure of it. There we go. Come here. Okay, let's do it. And I'll show you while we're waiting for that, I'll show you where we are on the map again. So what are we, just to the east of Fort Mercer. Uh, the plan was to look anywhere around Fort Mercer and anywhere um, sort of where it says Rio Bravo here, anywhere in here you'll find them. And in a lot of other parts throughout all of New Austin, but I found a lot of them in this area here. So there we go. Alrighty, and there it is guys. We have skinned every species of animal now. Wow, I was not actually expecting that. So there we go. Uh, but we haven't studied every species of animal just yet. So we still need to find ourselves the Sonoran. Uh, let me just double check the name. Where is she? Sonoran Desert Toad. So we'll be looking for that very shortly. All right, south of Fort Mercer here in New Austin. Every time I've come to this little island, it was in practice runs, it was there. Um, so come over to this tiny little island here under where it says Bravo south of Fort Mercer, as I said, and we should be able to spot ourselves a toad and it should be a Sonoran desert toad. There it is. We have now studied that as well. Now, killing it and picking it up does not count as skinning it, so don't worry about that. We already grabbed that achievement. We just have to study a couple more animals and we'll have the achievement. All right, let's move on. All right, guys, here we are just, or oh, what are we, just to the east of Tumbleweed in the far west of the whole map. Now, I'm a little bit excited, I'm pretty sure I hope that this is the final animal that I need to study. So let's not wait any longer. 
There it is, just flying up ahead. Now, can I get close enough to study it from here? There we go, Californian Horned Owl, and there is the achievement. Check it out, zoologist, rare achievement. We did it, guys. Whoa. I... I don't know what to say, guys. Let's just uh, quickly check achievements. Okay, so here we are at achievements. Now, all of these are for online. As you know, if you've been watching from the start, my guide or my walkthrough covers the story mode achievements only. These are all online. So let's go to unlocked. 34 achievements, 680 gamer score for those following along or those counting. And the two main ones that we worked on in this video and throughout the entire walkthrough, really, uh, for 50 gamer score all up, and 0.07% of gamers have skin deep, and 0.06 have zoologist. Wow. All right, and hopefully, if you follow this guide, you will have it too. There we go. I've shown you all of the hard to find animals that we had missing uh, after we'd completed absolutely everything else. If there's anything else you're missing and you need a hand, post a comment and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Uh, I don't mind doing that at all. That's uh, I'm definitely going to do that for anyone who watches this series. Uh, look, guys, that is it. I cannot believe it. 103 episodes of The Walking Dead. I have been playing this game since day one. Uh, I am recording this on Wednesday the 13th of March, so I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 for quite a few months now. Uh, I still love the game, no matter how many hours I've put into it. Uh, it has been one hell of a ride, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really, really do mean that. It's uh, You get in a bit of a habit saying that when you're making YouTube videos, but uh, I really mean it, guys. Thank you all for the support on this series. I've, uh, I've loved every minute of it. Once again, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Both of those things are very, very important for the channel. Post a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, if you want more big in-depth walkthroughs like this that I call real walkthroughs, please consider supporting me over at Patreon. There's a link in the video description. And that's it, guys. I will catch you all next time.